Hi Kamangas! Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening wherever you are in the world. I truly hope that you're having a happy and healthy Friday. So for today, we'll be reviewing Orange, Story and Art uh, by Ichigo Takano. Hmm, let me hold it for you so you'll have a better view. So this is the first volume. And it's entitled, A Plea from the Future. Nice, right? And then, the second volume. Uh, for the second volume, it's entitled, An Epic Love Story Across Time. I know you're wondering why there are only five in this photo. Don't worry, I'll tell you later. And then, this is the sequel. The long-awaited sequel to the Eisner-nominated Orange. Well, you know, this story is actually, uh, I'm not sure if multi-awarded, but it has several awards. And uh, this is Nahu, uh, Kakiru, and then Suba. I really love his smile. See the cover? It's all green with the story. <laughs> it's called Orange. Funny, right? <laughs> and then we have here... Uh, uh, tata, Katakano, uh, Azu, and Hagita. <laughs> this guy here is so cute and funny at the same time. Now, uh, see the cover. I really love the first page. Here, uh, you can really feel high school vibe. And you know that they're having fun. And on top, it's the future. <laughs> Actually, the story happened uh, during springtime. It was when Nahu received a letter coming from the future. Actually, uh, 10 years uh, from, I think, she was 16, if I'm not mistaken. And then she received a letter uh, coming from her 26-year-old self. Uh, who would believe that immediately, right? Maybe if I were in her uh, situation, I would throw it or, you know... <laughs> I wouldn't really believe it right away, but as days pass by, sh uh, actually uh, all the things that uh, were written uh, in that letter is happening. So she believed it, uh, what do you call this one? She believed it also because it's happening in front of her eyes. Now. As per the art, uh, I find it really cute, especially if she's blushing. See? She's blushing from uh, this uh, part of the story. The story is really relatable. I must say, it, my, in my uh, own personal uh, view, this I was able to relate to it. Not only because, of, because, um, of course, all of us, uh, we were once in high school. And then we've felt a lot of uh, different emotions during that time. We were so happy with our friends. We were adventurous. We were bubbly. We were all passionate, this and that. Then there are also times uh, during those years where you don't know what to do. Or um, you're just, you know, you're just battling it all up. In this story, um, they were actually able to smoothly discuss uh, suicide tendencies in uh, teens, especially in teens, um, because some of them they don't, they won't, they wouldn't really speak up or they wouldn't open up. And um, in this manga, I could truly say that they were able to make me realize how important it is to have a support system how uh, how it is helpful for us to have someone or may it be family friends or workmates that can really understand what you are going through of course, making you realize that you are not alone, that you have you have someone that you can really rely on. I really loved how the story was written, especially it was actually focused on friendship first, and then the romance was secondary. Uh, I it took me by surprise because most of the time, since the genre of 
yeah, as I was saying, since the genre of this uh, manga is about romance and slice of life, I wasn't really expecting more of friendship. Oh, sorry, sorry, not this part here. It's a different story. Let me get the sequel part. See, um, uh, I didn't really expect that the writer would focus on friendship rather than romance which uh which was supposedly for nahu for kakiru and then for suwa it's more on actually this story is uh, okay i'll give you a spoiler it's a sacrificial love it's uh loving someone even they wouldn't be able to love you back and being there when everything would really uh fall apart just loving them in distance and giving all the love that you have even though you know it uh, they wouldn't uh, uh, return it to you as well. They wouldn't return the love that you're offering them. Oh, cheesy. Yeah, but at the same time, uh, being able to be with uh, people who would be your friend and would uh, stay with you through thick and thin and would, you know, fight with you... Uh, to really be a better person in the future. It's something like that. The story is about uh, through friendship and through love. It's uh, and also finding yourself. Finding yourself would never be easy, but it's really worth it. Uh, you just need to um, be patient and make sure that uh, you're living in the present moment. It's always good to look back, uh, but never stay there. You need to live in the present moment because our life is a gift. And definitely, the people that we have around us, um, we should really treasure them. Because it's, uh, they wouldn't uh, stay uh, forever because we all know that um, in any moment or given time, uh, uh, they would be taken away from us because of course we are living in a borrowed life or we all have a borrowed time so might as well make the most of it um, this manga I would really love for this to be mainstream because hope, I'm hoping that uh, each and everyone would be able to read this because there's a lot of things and lessons that you can get from this manga um, that actually serves as a great reminder that I would never want to see myself in a bed of regrets. I think no one would uh, like to have that kind of life when they are old, right? So from this moment on, I hope that uh, you realize that everything in this world will eventually end. But you should never be the one to end that or end your life. No matter how hard it is, you'll believe that eventually everything will fall into place and you'll have your own, um, what do you call this? You'll have your own perfect timing. You just need to really believe uh, in the goodness of everyone. And also, have a happy life. Till next time. Bye.